Hi, my name is Wart Becker and welcome to another video. At Grafana Labs, we use Tanka to manage our Kubernetes infrastructure deployments. Kubernetes uses the YAML format to express these deployments with specifications for things like containers, volumes, and networking. However, YAML is designed for representing fairly simple data structures, not for complex Kubernetes deployments. The result is a huge amount of repetition and boilerplate code in tons of YAML files. This makes it very hard to see the forest for the trees. Several open source projects aim to make working with YAML a bit less painful. They typically use templating to generate all that YAML code for you. Helm is one of the most popular projects, and it's a great tool for when you're just starting out with Kubernetes. But at Grafana Labs, we quickly ran into its limitations. Heavily inspired by a project called KSonnet, we've created Tanka. It uses the JSONnet data template language to generate all the required YAML. Check out the blog post by Tom Braak to read all about the limitations of Helm and how Tanka solves them. You can find the link in the video description below. In today's video, we'll focus on getting Tanka up and running for our first deployment. First, we'll install Tanka. Next, we use Tanka for our first deployment of Prometheus and Grafana. And finally, we're gonna make a small change to our deployment configuration and do a second deployment. All right, let's install Tanka. We'll download the binary and make it available as an executable. Make sure to download the binary that matches your platform. In this case, I'm on a Mac, so I need the Darwin binary. Let's make the TK file executable. Tanka depends on JSON and Bundler for JSON and package management. The installation is very similar. Great, we have everything we need to create our first Tanka project. Let's create a directory for our new Tanka project called Tanka Tutorial. By running TK init, we get all the files needed to generate a valid Kubernetes deployment. Next, we'll add the deployment configuration for Prometheus and Grafana as a library. This allows us to reuse this configuration across multiple Kubernetes environments, for example, development and production. First, we'll create a config file, which contains our library configuration parameters. This file is not required, but for clarity, it's good practice to keep a separate file that defines all the configuration values that we likely want to customize per environment. In this case, we'll make the ports, names, and images to be used for Grafana and Prometheus configurable. Next, we'll create a libsonnet file that will generate the deployment and services YAML for both Prometheus and Grafana. A lot of things are happening in this file. First, we import two files. The first file, Causal, wraps the JSONnet Kubernetes library with some shortcuts for additional productivity. The second file contains our configuration values. And this segment creates a few aliases to the Kubernetes objects we need, so we don't need to type the full namespace every time. Here, we define the Prometheus deployments and services using our JSONnet template language. In these definitions, we can reference the configuration values as variables. JSONnet will make sure that this all compiles to valid YAML. Great, our library is done. Let's use this library in a new production deployment. We'll create the configuration for a production environment using the Tanka command. This will generate the production directory with two files. The spec file contains the Kubernetes API connection details from the active context. And in the main file, we'll specify our deployment configuration. We'll import our Prometheus and Grafana library and override the default configuration. Let's specify a specific image version to use in our production environment. Okay, that's enough JSON for now. We're ready for our first deployment. With take a show, we can see the YAML that will be generated from our JSON code. Any syntax errors will be shown and no invalid YAML will be outputted in that case. All resources will be created under our namespace from Grafana prod. We'll create this namespace with kube control. Using TK apply, we deploy the current configuration to our Kubernetes cluster.
and we're done. Corvana and Prometheus are deployed and running. Now let's make a small improvement to our deployment and apply these changes. We'll upgrade production to the latest and greatest Grafana by changing the image version in our main file. With TK diff, we can see the difference between the deployed configuration and our local changes. Let's deploy this new version. Great, we are now running the newer version of Grafana on our Kubernetes cluster. That's it for today. Hope you got a good first impression how Tanka can help you manage your Kubernetes deployments. Love to hear your feedback in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you next time.